so i mean then uh, one more uh, question i mean uh, how do you suggest our student how to do our course i mean because you have done our course That's fully right. and you have given very good uh, review i have already adapted uh, some of them yes, uh, yes. i mean some of them i need to adapt in, in yes. over the time i mean how, what do you suggest to our student how to do our course or i mean physics yes. learning basically so the range a range of students okay so some of things i'm saying won't make any sense to some students who are very bright already who are already doing very well who are already sincere already doing homework very well they are very much 10x smarter than me they know more physics than me there are students in your class i can bet you who know more physics than me <laughs> there are people like that so that is true i'm okay with that but what i'm saying is there there are range of people so there's no solution for one person so one thing i can start off by saying is i the so called weak student a student who was like me okay i can only start with them and and say what they should do to become probably smarter than your smartest student in your class what should they do that i can tell you if if in some cases special case that the math is already weak or something then you may need a longer time to come up to speed on your math right so that is there but every every day right whether he gives homework or problems or not make sure you have you solve like say uh, Five or five to ten problems, you know, good problems from the sets of some book. You know? uh, the uh, the whole thing with the objective CSIR test, those are all very good, no doubt about it. Those are almost like refreshers, you know, in the end. But initially, to improve your problem solving skills and understanding from Griffiths and from all the standard books, right, Reef or um, Statistical Mechanics like that, from the standard books, solve at least four or five problems a day. That should be your goal. If you just keep doing that. Uh, i think uh, because uh -huh. so we pretty much at a time you are only dealing with one subject right in that case you can do five good problems from from griffiths okay if you are very bright student what you can do in griffiths there are more problems at the end of the chapter okay more problems there is more challenging problems which you will and he has also some star scheme you know so bright students try to do five star three star or two star problems for everybody else at least five problems any any five problems from from the chapter that sir is teaching at this time right be current with him as much as possible okay uh, whatever he is teaching before if before class the previous day if you have time set up some time to read the book on the topic he's got you know most likely if he's doing some direct delta function today next day you know next topic what is there in griffiths you study that and go most likely sir will be covering that maybe slightly differently but he'll be covering that right so i'd say before class have a reading habit from the textbook okay So you should be curious. Okay, you understood. Some, you read something. You understood it half partially. Oh, by the way, that first reading you are not supposed to be extremely thorough with it. It's just the first familiarity. The first reading is to get familiar with the topic. That's the main goal. Then when you are, when you go to class and he's teaching it, the direct delta is not the first time you are hearing it. You heard about it already. You you didn't understand it fully, but you 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 read about it a little bit. You understood what it is. You know, to some extent, that's okay. That familiarity was there initially. Now he's teaching you. It's good. It's getting get solid. Say, let's say the familiarity was fifteen percent. Now it's us teaching with thirty five percent. Now you come to fifty percent understanding after this class. Then you're going to go do the homework that day itself. At least five problems from that section. If you can do more, the more you do, the better, right? So if you do ten problems, even better. But do that. The more you do, the more you're going to be successful. Then what you're going to do is, if at all you have more time. the fourth part like i i told you right you create your own notes of that when by create. so basically the idea goes like this if you are a teacher when, you, when you, for him right every time he teaches he is getting better we are not getting better remember that mm -hmm. happily he is getting better at better at quantum mechanics we just learned once that's all so if, if the best person the person who know a subject very well is the person who has taught it to others the more number of times you have taught others the better you know the subject that's what the general ideas of the that technique is so what i'm trying to say is when we consult so let's say i don't have an opportunity to go teach anybody and i don't have the time for it so what i do is i use the time to create my own notes that's like teaching myself again now i'm teaching myself i'm i'm doing whatever research additional reading that i don't read simply go and read lot of books that's not what i'm saying those books may be there but you're for this particular today direct delta function you're learning right so that you're going to go and read in in two or three books that topic alone <laughs> understand it clearly again you don't even need to go to any book if you understood fully 100% if you have any doubts in griffiths then you will refer to other book for another perspective of that 
then you'll understand maybe something that you didn't understand here, you might understand that. But if it's confusing you, don't go read other books. You're fine. Some people may just like the class notes and uh, his lecture notes and visits. That's enough. But minimum, you read one book at least for each subject. I would say at least refer to one more book. You know, some people that read 10, 15 books, but they won't really consolidate it. It's no use. Just reading is no use. You're going to take notes. So you, by the time you're done with this process, you have your own notes. And by, in a week, for example, you would have done, let's say, at least 25. See, I'm talking big problems. One problem with A, B, C, like that in, in Griffiths, right? So like that, if you're doing five problems a day, in seven days, you would have done, right? 35 problems you would have finished. In, so you have taken a good quantum mechanics book. You have read, or, let's say, a, a half of one big chapter. You have taken all sorts class notes and understood it really well. 50% you have come to. Next, you did consolidation of your notes. That has brought you to 65-70%. Then you did the five problems also, right? If, if at all possible, I'm saying make it eight. Five is the minimum, I'm saying. You can do eight or something better. If you do that also, then 100% you have understood the subject. After that, in your sleep also, you won't forget them. Because when you do all the problems, the formulas and all this become very, there's no memorizing at all. It should just come when you write it. When you go to the exam, no, none of us, in Baylor at least, we don't need books, nothing we need. We just go to the exam, whatever problem they give, we'll do it. That's all. I'm not saying very um, uh, out of arrogance or something. I'm not really that high IQ guy. If <laughs> you do IQ test, my IQ is very low. Actually. But if you follow the techniques that I'm saying, you will be nobody can beat you. you you'll be the top of the class if you want to get to that place you don't you're not you don't have to be born smart or anything like that. if you have interest and passion and project you will learn all of that so i told you my, my technique right 100 percent how to get it you start off with the pre-reading before the class then you go to the class and pay very good attention take very good notes clear clarify the doubts or don't ever hesitate to stand up and ask questions you don't worry about what other person thinks oh you don't even know what to take. You don't even know how to do this integral. It's just a Gaussian function. You don't know. Like that, people may ask, don't worry about it. I, 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 a lot of the integrals, I look at the integral tables. But in this country, US, nobody needs to solve integrals. We all need to only look at the tables and get the answer. That's all. You know how to look at the tables and get the right answer for most of the definite integrals, at least. Right? So, so the class of, of sir has taught you, and you've taken the notes. Next is you're going to reread re the, the same section in Griffiths. Go look at other references, look at your class notes, consolidate and create your own notes with a full understanding. Then you're going to do the homework, right? You're going to do more homework. If he has given that many problems, like I said, that's enough. But if he has not given enough problems, you your minimum is five problems from the standard textbook in a day. Minimum, I'd say. If you want to ace some exams or jam or something is coming up, then you have to do 10 problems. I'm saying as a minimum, you should do five. If at all possible, eight or 10 problems a day is very good. Then by the end of the week, if you consolidate, you have done 40. Imagine if you if you've done 35 to 40 problems from the fits fully by yourself, right? Then you know how to solve problems. Then your problem solving technique will go on. But if you understood all these things, the class notes and the reading and all that, if you created a consolidated notes, you have all the skills. Anything you need to solve the problem is there somewhere in your notes. You have to find from there how to do it and, and do it. But you cannot. You can look at look up for formulas or some technical examples that Griffiths has done. You can look at that and all. But you cannot go to solution manual because it's it's supposed to be instructor's instructor's solution manual. Only he can read. We cannot even look at it. If you look at it, then you won't learn the problem solving skill. Every time you will need it. Then in the exam hall also you be that is solution manual. <laughs> in the exam hall also you need a solution manual. What's the use? You will not learn problem solving skill if you look at the solution and do the problem. You will never learn. Okay, sir. If I summarize on his reading uh, before the class, I mean, they, they all know what I'm going to teach in the next class. So then, uh, I mean, whenever I teach, okay, in the new batch, I'm going to learn. I mean, you may enjoy at that hour, one hour, you may enjoy my class, but it is not yours. I mean, you have to go and uh, read it again, or you have to digest it again, or you have to make notes, you have to solve problem, unless. I'm developing batch by batch. I mean, with one class, just by listening to class, that's not yours. I mean, whatever I have done, that is my, mine. So, so we, have, we have a feeling, when we attend his class, we have a feeling we understood everything. It's somewhat mm. true. You feel like class, you it will dissipate very fast if we don't consolidate that. So when we do the, our own notes and all, we're consolidating the knowledge. And then when we do the homework problems, it becomes stronger. Uh, our memory of, of what we understood is stronger. But if we don't do the problems, whatever he taught, at that day it may be very comfortable. After one month, you won't remember anything about it. 
Hmm. Yeah, and solving problems immediately after the class, not after yes. week, not after even two days. Same day. I mean, then you can solve more and more problem. I mean, solving even exam MCQs yes. soon after that topic. I mean, you can solve more problem. If you if you leave it after, I mean, if you try it after a week or after a month, I mean, there is there will be no difference between what I thought and what I have. <laughs> if you say the same thing after one week, okay. So this is the uh, main thing. Okay, yeah. sir. Actually, uh, I'm receiving a lot of uh, requests. I mean, I mean, here, I mean, students who are preparing for this competitive exam, okay. CSI, NET, GATE, just TFR. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm receiving a lot of requests like, do you have previous year MCQ solutions? I mean, so that's what they expect. I mean, we have key answer already. Uh, MCQs and key answers are uh, ready here. But I mean, many people, I mean, they are I mean, they are selling. I mean, many coaching classes are selling previous year question paper with the solutions. I mean, somewhere, I mean, OK, you are very ideal learner. I mean, no doubt. I mean, we can see that one. I mean, somewhere students have to learn to take problems as a challenge and, and find if you, if you have done the problem from Griffiths, right, then these things will be so easy. Yeah. <laughs> All these MCQs, you can do it. Yes. Not only that, the, I had difficulty with doing MCQs, actually. I'm, I can do Griffiths problem, but the MCQs, I found it difficult. At least I was imagining that. But a lot of time, it's just our imagination. My imagination was those are the CSIR list that you used to send us. I thought that was harder, actually. But then one day, one one class after the right after the class, you sent something, and immediately after the class, I did because we had just learned the concept. The MCQs were so easy. I did ninety percent of them. One or two, I asked her. I asked you actually. You corrected me. You corrected on that. So I mean, if I can do it, all of you are smarter than me. I can promise you. <laughs> yeah. I can promise you, all of you are smarter than me. You can do it. Okay. You know, but collaborate with the students and do it. But don't copy. See, see MCQ solutions. Why do you want? Between yourself, if you all join and do it, that is also good learning. Okay, mm -hmm. so you have some crutch. I also want some crutch. So you have a crutch, right? You have other friends to talk to. You can do all that. Only thing is, when you're submitting your homework solutions to sir, make sure. Or if you don't submit, whatever, you have your final solution which you wrote it up by yourself. Because that means you have full understanding of it. Otherwise, what's the power? What's the point? And if if I just copy and give it to, uh, to him, I've not learned anything at all, right? You can get away with it, but what's the point? What the, if you go and sit at the CSI? How are you going to do well? That they are not going to go show you the solutions. Then you have to do it without solutions anyway, right? So why yeah. to struggle so much? Actually, make it easier and think. You do the textbook problems by yourself. Then everything else will be so easy for you. You can you can walk like a king or a okay. queen. But I have never submitted a homework which I have not written understood fully. You see, you're at least have a goal that you would never submit something. To Subramanian sir, which you have not understood, then it's not your work at all. You see what I'm You so here they encourage us to collaborate with other students. That's the other thing. Ah, this is what you should do. Collaborate. Collaboration is fully legal. So Kartikeya is here, Vikrant is here, Nayana is here, right? Let's say Kartikeya knows very well about the problem. Vikrant knows somewhat. Nayana probably you are the smartest, but I'm just saying. Let's say Nayana doesn't know anything. Okay, so all the three of them can get on a phone call or a web, web conference or Zoom or whatever, and they can discuss the problem because discussion discussion will make make you understand the concept really well, you know. So some people may contribute more in those calls, some may be contribute. That's okay, but all of you discuss. The only thing is you can go discuss, learn whatever you want for the solution. But when you write the final solution, you take a blank, clean paper and you write your own solution. That should not be copied from anybody. Okay. It could be from your own rough notes and all. You can take all your rough notes, your rough copy of your solution. You take all that and then you write a clean solution which you fully understand every step. That is the key. If you can do that, then uh, 